My name is Shelly Jarrett and I'm an award-winning entrepreneur and I've been in business for the last 12 years and what do I do? I do so many things but I'll start off. Um, I have a background in social work of course so I've always worked with women and women empowerment and I have a magazine SMJ magazine that I launched in 2012 and we just celebrated nine years of our magazine, um, just in July. Yeah. And um, so we're in our 10th year and we also have a film company. I'm a documentary filmmaker, women's advocate, podcaster, like you name it, I've done it. Pretty much what my heart is with working with women and women coming out of uh, domestic violence situations and for, so COVID happened and I pivoted to doing business uh, consulting and what I do I coach women on how to use entrepreneurship as an empowerment tool and to provide financial stability okay and I also in 2019 we produced a documentary uh, it's called what about us and it talks about women in our community that are experiencing gender-based violence and I tend to look at because when the me too uh, hashtag broke it broke in 2017 uh, it focused mainly on high-profile women uh, women in the political arena women in the entertainment industry but it was not the media was not looking at community women that were experiencing this so I because of my magazine I felt a sense of obligation that I needed to take a look at what was happening in our community so I uh, we interviewed uh, five women from different backgrounds not only because uh, violence gender-based violence is across cultures it's not just one community and so out of that um, four women agreed to do the, the documentary I said you know this is in a magazine but I need more people to hear these stories because they were very heart-wrenching stories you know it really touched my heart and so we put out a casting call and many women from different backgrounds answered the call and so we ended up with eight women from the five major cultural backgrounds telling all forms of uh, violence against women uh, child molestation uh, workplace harassment um, domestic violence and so the to our surprise the documentary went on to do very well it's won numerous awards and then COVID happened in 2020, early 2020. And my COVID story, I, we were in, we just re-edited, put in some more information in the documentary. And we were in Carlton University in Ottawa. And we were probably the last people in the university that night because we were screening the documentary. And by the time we drove back to Toronto, everything went into lockdown. So that happened early 2020. And we did some screenings uh, virtually. And like I said, I had to pivot because we could not be making films, right, for two years. And I remembered in 2012 when I left Cooperate, I did an entrepreneurial course. And so I had those modules at home from my binders. And when the Minister of uh, Small Business Women, you know, because we were home on COVID, everybody's home, we were listening to TV all the time. So she inspired me because she said, women are going to need these new skills to navigate the new work workforce and I remembered I did the same course like 12 years ago so I went I got my binder and I converted them into video modules so that's what I'm teaching women now how to use these different skills um, to navigate start their own businesses you can do a lot from home and yeah and create financial stability and for women that not only women that are coming out of, of, of violent situations but also women that want to do their own startups and you know, be active in the community. You use those gifts and talents that you have because we all have them. 
We just have to be encouraged to use our gifts, our talents to create financial stability. So pretty much that what that's what I do. Um, like I said, my body of work is over 10 years. Um, I love women empowerment, anything to do with women and and stability and taking care of their home, their community, because women are really the pinnacle of the community, you know, the economic pillar we without women there's not much the men can do we need each other yeah. but women are, are very so i will always want to encourage women to do of their best and and all these tools are available for us now you know before covid it probably was limited and but now since covid happened our voices are being heard more and they're creating more more opportunities there's lots of grants out there we just have to access them right and yeah so we have a great opportunity and I think each and every one of us should really try to um, advance ourselves and take care of our families and our community and build our communities. So that's who I am. You can find me on social media. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Instagram, Shelly Jarrett One. You can follow me, connect with me. Um, we have the screening November is coming up, International Women's Day is coming up. There's a lot of events you can create that you can show the documentary because as more women talk about what's happening, because over COVID, a lot was happening. Honestly, we were counseling women that were trapped at home with their abusers, and it was chaos. It was horrible. And out of that, we all hear of financial abuse, but out of that, this new economic abuse came up, and that's a big deal right now. So we're sort of lobbying the government and so forth to come up with policy change and so to educate the financial institutions and things like that about, you know, say, for example, a woman come to the bank and she has a joint account with her spouse, and then the teller would give her a hard time, like, why do you want to have a, your own account and that kind of thing. So a lot of education and awareness needs to be happening right now because a lot of women are suffering with a lot of stuff that they don't talk about. So that's my advocacy work now.